Hey there guys, what's going on? And welcome to our first past and present team. And we're starting off with Inter Milan. And one of the reasons why I picked them is because there are so many players in this build right now that I haven't even used on the game. And the whole point of this concept is to try out new fresh cards, really, really good players, and take them into the weekend league to see how they do. So for next week, maybe a little bit of contrast there is if we go and do AC Milan and see which of the uh, Milan teams actually step up, which one outperforms. But the amount of people commenting Chelsea, I'm actually shocked. What, you want to see Shevchenko drop up top? Hullet dropped in there. I mean, he only played for one season, but... De Bruyne, De Bruyne also played for Chelsea, and then can't say Lampard, you can't have a Chelsea team without Lampard, somehow I'd have to get him in there, so that will all be coming up, and if you do like the sound of it, please do drop a big thumbs up on today's video, it'd be greatly appreciated, if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, and if you're wanting game codes, G2A, link below, and use that code Fuji, so we're going to go through the team, and then you're going to have to let me know if I've nailed it, so in goal, we are gone for the handyman, Handanovic. Have I used him? No. Have I faced him? Yes. And he does seem pretty good. Right back position, it'd be rude not to, right? Zanetti, right back, perfect. Now, I'd have loved to have had the opportunity to play with Mykon on FIFA 20. Even better, FIFA 21. Now, the one thing that scares me is that he hasn't been mentioned at all. There's no sign of Mykon or even, let's say, a Schneider. But what I have faith in is that EA have the licenses for both Inter Milan and AC Milan, like full licenses. So maybe they're holding back on a few of those to drop them halfway through the game to keep it fresh. Fingers crossed. So never say never to a mic on. And, and what was it like? I remember like 2010, Inter had a really good t team. But was it uh, like a couple of years ago, even before that point? They had like an even better score. They were, they were unbelievable at one point. So yeah, mic on would be amazing. I've just bought the team. <laughs> anyway, going through it, Cannavaro, he didn't really play too many games for Inter, uh, 74 games, he played for a lot of clubs, 74 games, yeah, do you know what, actually that is quite a lot, so Cannavaro in the team, Prime Michael moments, why not add in a little bit of quality, otherwise we're going to have to use someone who is present at Inter Milan right now, and I wouldn't want to partner someone alongside De Vrij, like, uh, or De Vrij, sorry, it's like, um, yeah, it's, it's one of those where he he looks good, but is he really going to perform like this in game? And, and I feel like I have used him for like one or two, but I can't remember if he was like that overpowered. So you need some support around him. And Cannavaro, I think he's that man. Uh, left back position, Roberto Carlos. Like the left backs are actually dead right now for Inter. And he only played 34 games, but I guess we're allowed to use him. That still counts, right? If you've played for a club, it's, uh, it's passed. So with Roberto Carlos, I will make this signing official and get him for the weekend league. In that CDM position, the big man, Patrick Vieira, icon moments, 3.4 million. Um, he's already, like, the, the account I'm on, he's already played uh, played with him. So might as well do into Milan and then we get rid of uh, Vieira. So medium high work rate, 6'4", and he's got just insane stats. And I hope that he is going to be playing to those, which is going to be sweet. Um, right center mid position in the 4 one 2 2 it's got to be Mateus. High tie work rates. And I used his loan on the other account on Xbox a couple of days ago, and he really did impress me. I think that this team in the midfield is going to be so, so secure. So we've got Vieira, Mateus, and then Nyangola. Nyangola played for Inter, and his card was really really good on the games uh, i loved him and i think that these days like he, he's, he's gone downhill in a way like not many people although his stats look meta and he should play like one of the best like cdm set him is not many people have like been too uh, fond of uh, nine golan for the past like i think couple of fifas actually so maybe a new game or fever 21 will actually help him out in that cam position, another reason why I wanted to do Inter is because of this card, Sanchez, looking like one of the best players on this goddamn game. A four-star, four-star, high tie. He's going to be playing as our cam. He's only got the flair trait, but with the pace, shooting, passing, dribbling, and physical, it's all pushing like 99 stats. So is he really going to play like that in-game? Who knows? Natara Martinez, uh, not a bad price, 305, but a lot of uh, debate whether or not he is actually good in game. Like, when I look at his stats, I would call him the mini R9, but funnily enough, he's got better stats than the R9 that I've got right here. 
How many times have I used R9 in the weekend league? Never. I, I never buy R9. It's really weird. So for the first time ever, we're going to have 30 games with Ronaldo just to see what kind of... Uh, kind of goal scoring record he can get for me because you know how it works with Haaland and also Eddie and if I play exactly like that you never know so this team is looking just so nice like visually and I hope that it plays very very well in game what I could do with this squad is also switch out to a 4 triple 2 I think that someone like Mateus uh, as a left attacking mid I don't even think he'd do a bad job there necessarily and I could also get in some subs so if there are any players that you would switch out or you don't feel like uh, deserve a place in this starting 11 I don't feel like that would wouldn't be the case like I, I think they're all deserving of a spot but let me know any changes you would have made or formation change and i'm going to go and test this team out right now and i'll show you the tactics i'm going to go for something a little bit different so four one two one two four players inside the box and possession i want to try and play that possession football and then the depth and the, and the width is just absolutely standard for me right now and no real like position changes just getting behind for the two strikers and stay forward on the cam stay back and also stay back let's get in some games uh we're in a high division first time in a long time playing on the, the playstation so bear with me i'm probably gonna absolutely suck but it's practicing training for the weekend league let's go um if i lose my excuse is the heat it's so goddamn hot over here right now if you're in the uk and you don't have air con well we don't have air conditioning over here it's not normal we we're not used to this kind of heat and it's sweltering and he had a really uh, sweet looking side. But Nine Golan, welcome back to Inter. Mateus already making a run. Let's go, Mateus. R9 to his feet. That's it. The positioning from R9 is basically going to create these goals. And then Mateus, cut back. Oh, nearly, nearly, nearly. But I've got to get used to it, boys. It might take me a couple of games. And I've only got a couple of games with uh, Roberto Carlos. So we better make sure we find those goals. R9. R that one touch and the way he's going to get out of his feet. It is just unbelievable. What an experience. If it's going to be like this for the weekend league. One touch goal. One touch rage quit. One touch shot rage quit. No, no. He's going to make some changes. The connection does feel quite smooth. And Patrick Vieira in the midfield. The prime icon moments Vieira. Now, I haven't really been using the middle or the baby version or even the prime for that matter, this FIFA. So I can't tell you whether or not I feel like a massive difference between all of the cards. R9 just wants to move though. Oof. Now, that was quick. Alexis Sanchez, god damn, already insane start with Inter. But Patrick Vieira, he's coming for that ball. Lutaro Martinez as well, tracking back. I was watching Inter actually uh, the other night. I, I said that I was going to watch the Man United game, but I decided against it. I fancied watching a bit of Inter. And yeah, the Terra Martinez has got really good tight control and dribbling. I think he's pretty sick. Uh, nice to uh, actually catch a couple of those games, because I never have time to really watch the Serie A. Here, 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 here. Bang. Boom. Sanchez, though. Right foot, left foot. What the hell? All right. Come on. Let's keep going, though. This guy has not had anything. Nine Golan feeling good. Lutero Martinez. Ronaldo. Ronaldo's got that as well. Wow. A good save, but I don't know how the hell he's managed to get his way through. And he's gone. No surprise. The 4 1 2 1 2 for once actually feeling really secure. But he's using a 4 1 2 1 2 side. Um, I was going to say maybe that's a pass and present. Man United squad. So He's already putting on some decent pressure. But checking out like our defense. We've got Zanetti who's a prime. We have or oh, this the position in this 4-1-2-1-2 right now. Whoops. I spooned it. The position in this 4-1-2-1-2 though is pretty sick. But I was gonna say, like, finish that. Alexis Sanchez is definitely the star player. What a card already. Watch that cut back. Cannavaro. Oh no. Do you know what I thought that Ah, that's bad defending. I thought that they had Cannavaro's new game face for his prime icon moments. Mateus tracking back. He can get those type of tackles in. Nah, what's going on? Come on now. How many uh, tackles? So many. Yes, R9. Don't you dare slow down now. R9 in this position. Good stuff. A cross goal. He's going to get another, another bite of the cherry. Patrick's been doing more of the attacking duty. Oh, he, he wanted a pass. No way. This guy, right, in this game, 
The way the ball is just finding its way through is a problem. No, not another one. Zanetti, good. Get that ball up. Nice. On nine. Lataro, I haven't actually seen much of. Back across. Oh, wow. Oh, nine. I would have expected that to go in. But Lataro hasn't really done anything going forward. My player switching, though, in these areas is a bit of a mess. And I'm getting cut open with absolute ease. That's fair enough. The other couple of goals I was I felt a little bit hard done by, but that's fine. He's just getting through into those areas and we're not solid defensively. What on Cannavaro? No, and he's going to lose out. Yeah, yeah, he's been losing out all game. All game, every game right now. I don't know what, what they've done to him. It's a prime Michael moments, Cannavaro. Nah, man. Too many of these rebounds. And then the runners. Yes, yeah, it's, it's... Go on. Yes, oh, no, better positioning. you got to score that. There we go. All right, back in the game. Just about. Grab it and go. Come on. Winning 3 0 in the first game and forcing a rage quit. And then losing 5 2 in the next. What's going on? Lataro. No. Stop that right now. Where's some bloody Xbox, man? We're shooting. Hey. Come on. Wow. I don't know. I've, I've had a lot of chances. I've had a lot. The midfield was open, and I will take full responsibility for that. Like, it was poor defending for the most part. But when the ball was in those defensive areas, I don't know what was up with my players. Like, they were switching off, and they weren't intercepting it as they were in the first half. Uh, taking a 5-3 defeat, not acceptable. Uh, we might also change formation. I'm not sure yet. Just grab it. Yes, Mateus. What a slide that. The, the awareness. Absolute prime moments quality. Oh, no, I know. He's defending me very, very well. Vieira, that was so unnecessary. But it looks good. You look good. But nah, seriously, though. We need to start playing a little bit better. I don't know what happened. The first game I was playing, like, amazingly well. And then the second, I don't know what happened. Here. What a ball. Oh, no. There he is. And I think with R9, it's good to have someone that's like the ball carrier. Do you know what I could do, though? I could put Alexis Sanchez... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Hang on. I could put Alexis Sanchez striker with R9. That'd make more sense because he feels really good on the ball and his finishing is sick. And then find a new cam. Any any recommendations? Canavaro, better, 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 better. That control from Vieira was pretty impressive to cut inside as quick as that for a big man. Sanchez. Ronaldo. What a ball. And then Lataro. Oh, it's the post. Aww. Ambitious shot. Maybe I could have carried it into the box a little bit more. Don't know how that got through. That's a great pass. Oh, no, I'm back to him. Nice layoff. And again, Mateus first time coming on to... Excuse me. Mateus coming on to that first time. He should be burying it with ease, but now nah, we'll take the rebound goal. No, we are not going to have a bad performance now. Striding onto the ball with that okay, maybe we are, but that's not who I passed to. Yes, nine goal and chip. What a ball. Sanchez, though, look at his footwork inside the box. So clean. He's actually sick. It's really, really good. I know I mentioned it before. I might put him striker and then find a new cam because I don't really like Latara Martinez. He hasn't done anything. Uh, Martinez didn't do anything in three games. I'm not joking, man. He didn't do anything. So if I drop him, I need recommendations for either a striker position or a cam. Who do I use? Put it in the comment section. But this Inter Milan team is very fun to use. Or oh, sorry, past and present Inter Milan team. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. Um, if you have enjoyed, leaving a like would be uh, amazing. And tomorrow... We've got our foot chat rewards. Um, I don't know if I'm, I don't know how I'm gonna actually like plan this. Like, I want to show you how I'm getting on in the weekend league and, and take note of the amount of goals I'm scoring, um, who's assisting in so many games, and then show you some graphics as well. So I, I want to make this so it's pretty damn in depth. But yeah, I, th I think we're gonna save that for the weekend league or over the weekend. So. Yeah, not sure what we're going to be doing tomorrow, but you'll see what's posted on the channel. So thank you very much for watching. I'll see you tomorrow. And yeah, take care. Team out. Peace.